Okay, hello, welcome to a new video uh, this week, finally. It's been a while, um, back home visiting in Wales, home home, I guess you could say. And it's weird being in this room, but uh, nonetheless we're here to uh, watch and react to the Terminator Genesis trailer, which just came out, the new teaser trailer, a bit more substa substantial than the Episode 7 teaser trailer. is, excuse me, 2 minutes long, or 2 minutes 19 seconds. What was mental was that yesterday we had a teaser to the teaser trailer, which I thought was just ridiculous. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, YouTube channel also posted um, a motion poster, which seems to be a, a, a trend that's picking up now, YouTube motion posters. Uh, but today's been a big day for films in general, um, in terms of 2015. Um, you know, Bond 24 was announced, and I might make a video about that as well, so we'll leave that for, for that. And here, I'm just going to watch the Terminator Genesis teaser trailer. Alright, so... Uh, in the future. So we've got John Connor, Kyle Reese, played by, um, I forget the guy's name now, but I know that Kyle Reese is Jay Courtney. Endoskeleton there. Big war. Future war. Right. Oh, is that the old Arnie? Okay, so we've got, I think we've gone back to the events of the first film. That song does a bit of Terminator trailer. So Carl Reese has gone back in time to help Sarah Connor. Oh, it's just like the first film, the same alleyway by the looks of it. Now we've got this Korean fella. Who is a Terminator. Ah, roll, re roll reversal. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so the Korean guy is uh, liquid metal, and Sarah Connor is now the badass that she was in Terminator 2. Ah. <laughs> That's the music right there. Oh, <laughs> really? I'll be back. What? <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Right, that school bus shot. What were they thinking? All right, here's my initial reactions. Yeah, Arnie's back. Looks a little old though, how are they going to explain that? Okay, so we're going back to the first film, which I have right here, right? in fact. We're going back to the events of the first film, but the, the timeline's been changed again. And so now Sarah Connor's a badass and she's been brought up by another Terminator who looks like Arnie. So what what have they made to age? The, you know, the... Uh, what, do they, what do they call it in the first film? A living tissue over endoskeleton, whatever, uh, I don't know, either way, so she's been brought up by this Terminator who's been sent back even further in the past, which then erases what happens, I guess it, it's really a simple way of going back and deleting <laughs> the first four films, which is kind of what they've been doing with X-Men, so I don't know if people are going to get pissed off about that, but it is what it is really, um, the, the original films will still stand again, Terminator 1, Terminator 2, two amazing films. I don't have the third one. Uh, and then we have Terminator Salvation, which I quite liked. I need to watch this one again, but um, it was a good film. Um, but for me, it's always the first two that are the, the real Terminator films. I enjoy the third one. You know, it's fun. But uh, the first two is, like, awesome. So this one, will it be as good as the first two? I don't think so. I think it'll be a fun nostalgia ride. Um, but again, this strikes me as that thing where it's like, all the big trailers of the past couple of weeks, you know, Jurassic World, Episode 7, as much as I'm excited for that. It's all these old franchises that are being resurrected and the studios put more money behind the existing things, which I, I guess it, it's bankable, but 
I don't know, I, I guess a lot of us were lucky to be around in the days when you get these huge big movies that were original and were great blockbusters, you know. Um, yeah, it, look, it looks good. I think they ruined it at the end there with that stupid school bus thing where it's flipping 50 feet in the air. I mean, they did the same kind of thing in The Dark Knight, but it was done for real. And it was just kind of, the truck just went kind of up and then down. It didn't go up 20 feet in the air. It just looked... That was like a Fast Furious moment, which is fine within the bubble of the Fast and the Furious series, but with Terminator, where you got a bit more of a serious edge to it, I think. The action needs to be... Obviously, it's going to be exaggerated, but that, that was a bit too much for me, I think, at the end there. But the rest of the action looked really cool. You know, this new Korean guy who's the, the, the new liquid metal. I mean, it seems like they're going back again to the events of the first film, using kind of, um, you know, the mold of Sarah Connor from T Terminator 2. Using the same kind of villain from Terminator 2. But now with the twist of, well, not the twist really, it's the same Arnold being the protector again but also an older one who has brought Sarah Connor up, so that's a different twist to it. Jay Courtney, I'm sorry, you're never going to be Michael B, mate, just not happening. Not really a fan of Jay Courtney. Any film I've seen him in, it's just like, he just seems so bland and cookie-cutter and just typical, good-looking, blonde, you know, young actor who isn't bad, but just doesn't add, he just seems so plain to me. Um, I forget the guy who, who's playing John Connor in this. Um, I was never a big fan of him until I saw Dawn of the Apes this year, which I thought was amazing, and he was fantastic, so I'm actually really happy with this now, I think he's a great actor, so. Oh, and of course, um, Amelia Clark as Sarah Connor. Okay, I'll say I was against her being in this, to be honest, I wasn't really that keen, but I thought she, she looked good in the, film, in the uh, trailer, so, uh, yeah. I mean, at, at least Arnold's back in a major role, and that's really cool, and to see him facing off with his older... Um, your younger self <laughs> looks like a, a fun little scene so yeah there we go my reaction to the Terminator Genesis trailer so thank you for watching uh, let me know what you thought of the trailer and um, all the Terminator films in general and I'll see you with my next video he says he's really cool but I think he's a tool <laughs> even though I'm sure he's a quite nice guy really <laughs> He's a quite nice guy, really. <laughs>